Welcome back to Just Scribble. A couple of weeks ago, Emily from Emmylou Arts shared an Arteza haul that she had gotten, and one of the items that she had received were these magnetic organizers from Arteza that she sticks on the side of her planner cart, and I automatically fell in love. I knew I had to get these magnetic organizers because I have four Raskog carts from Ikea in my studio as well as a Hudson cart from Michaels which is from their recollections line and it's basically the same as the other planner carts you see and the Raskog carts from Ikea but it's longer so it's like double the length. And then I also have a Raskog cart that I keep in our living room with planner and journaling essentials so that I can journal and plan our living room. And I'm always still looking for more space, even with the exorbitant number of carts that I have. And I saw how she was using these magnetic organizers on the side of her cart and I thought it was genius and a wonderful way to add some additional storage space for smaller items that sometimes get lost on your planner cart. So I actually ordered two boxes of these. They each come with four in them. And I already opened up one of the boxes and took out a few of the magnetic organizers so that I could share them with you and also show you how they look on my cart. So this is what they look like. They're four in a box and I ordered two boxes. So now I have eight of them. And this is the size. So for size reference, this is a Twisby Eco. You could fit your Twisby Ecos in there. You could actually fit, oops, you could actually fit quite a few for, let's see, let's see how many we can get in there. Say there's eight. So you could get about 12 Twisby Ecos in there and they would be nicely stored on the side of your planner cart and laying sideways, which is a great way to store fountain pens. But they would also be great to store washi tape or post-it label tape that I use to cover up mistakes and errors in my planner. They would fit your Uni Posca paint pens, just lots of things could fit into these little magnetic baskets. And I just thought it was genius and awesome. So I decided to order them. I'm going to insert two pictures. This first picture is what they look on the side of my Hudson cart from Michaels because they actually fit on the end cap of my Hudson cart, which is awesome because it slides next to some other storage areas that I have in my studio. And so I can't stick anything on the long side of it, but they fit perfectly on the little end cap so I can put two or three on the end cap that sticks out or is outward facing on that card. The second picture is a zoomed in picture just so you can kind of see how it fits and how it sticks on. On the Raskog carts from Ikea, it won't fit on the end of them, but it fits on the sides and it fits perfectly. So my carts are black and gray. Those are the two colors that all my carts are. And so these are perfect for it, but I think they would look good on any color of cart that you have. So I wanted to share those and show you kind of what fits into them. So that was the primary reason that I ordered, but you know, when you go online and you go to order something, you can't just order one thing. So I actually ordered four things. I ordered these two boxes of these cute little magnetic storage bins. And then I ordered some holographic multicolor adhesive vinyl for my Cricut. So I haven't even opened this, but I wanted to share it with you guys. I don't know how many of you use Cricuts or Silhouettes and use vinyl, but I do use it a lot. And I'm always looking for new vinyl, but especially holographic vinyl because it is most definitely my favorite. And this was a great set with a lot of different colors. As you can see, they shine beautifully and change colors as the light hits them. And I'm super excited about trying them out. I haven't tried it with my Cricut to see how they actually work or how well they actually work, but I have bought other holographic vinyls on Amazon from generic brands and they have worked great. So I would assume that the Arteza ones will work 
wonderfully. So that is another item that I ordered. And then I ordered this watercolor pad that has 14 sheets of 100% cotton cold press watercolor paper. I'll open it up to show you real quick. They did a really nice job of packaging because they actually put these little square edges on there to protect the edges of your watercolor pad, which I think is a really nice touch. And it is a beautiful, very textured, nice and thick watercolor paper. So you can see the pad. Really excited about trying this out. There is some of the information about it. But the fourth item I bought, I actually bought with you guys in mind because I thought it might be something nice to share with you guys and do a test to see if these work as well as the name brand version. So Arteza also has a vintage medium point quick dry pen in vintage colors similar to the Zebra Sarasa vintage colors. So what I thought I would do is open it up and share the colors with you and do a swatching comparison that compares these colors to the zebra colors. So I only have six of the 10 zebra Sarasa colors, but I thought it would still be a really good comparison to show you. So the zebra Sarasa pens are under $2 a pen, but you can get a set of five of the colors for $8.50, I think it is, on jet pens. And so to get the full set of 10 colors, it's around $17. The full set of 10 colors from the Arteza is around $13. So although not a huge price savings, it is cheaper. And if there were other things that you were looking for on the Arteza site, it might be something you would want to add to your order. So I'm going to open these up and we're going to do a little comparison. So just visually, the colors are very similar. So if you look and compare this one to that one, that one, the body colors are very similar. The only one that's quite different, the brown is very similar, is this black one because this is kind of a weird green gray black color for the sepia and their black is more of a jet black. So I'm going to get out my B6 Scribbles That Matter that I use for swatching. So this is actually the page where I had originally swatched the five colors there and then I added the sixth one before I did this video just to keep them all together. But I'm going to draw a little line We'll use this marker. Not perfect, but it's all right. And I'm going to write Sarasa and Arteza, just so we have some differentiation and we can see the differences between the two. So I'm going to start with the red black Sarasa. And then I'm going to compare it to, make sure I have my names correct, Burnt Sienna. Take the little plastic tip off the wax. Then camel yellow. If you guys find the swatching part boring, you can definitely fast forward to the end result. I will say with these, when you push them down, if you push the clip up, it releases the pen. So this one is called, oops, I could spell this would go much better ginger now right off the bat I will tell you that these are 0.7 and these are 0.5 so this is going to be a slightly thicker line as you can see 
but it's not terribly thicker. Dark gray. So that is not similar. This is the, probably so far the one that is the most different. The Sarasa definitely has more blue in it. Brown, gray. This one is called Coffee Brown. That one is a little browner, less gray as well. Bordeaux Purple. and vintage grape. The wax doesn't want to come off that one. Vintage grape purple. That one is a little more red. Sepia black and theirs is called noir it is much blacker and then these are the ones that I don't have counterparts to but I will go ahead and share with you most of these are going to be blue because I tend to not buy blue pens since I have to use blue pen always for work. I tend to not buy them as much. Midnight blue. That is a really pretty blue color. And then this is evening blue. Sure, I'm still on the screen for you guys. Now that's a super unique blue. I like that a lot. This one is called Rose. I probably won't use that too often, but it is pretty. And lastly, we have jungle green which is very pretty it has a little bit of blue in it so the colors that I have that compare they are quite similar they're not exact the first two are very very similar to the between the Sarasa and the Arteza in color there's a little bit more difference in the other four that I had matching colors on but overall they are quite similar it is a really pretty pack of colors. I think that it is just a gorgeous collection. I actually prefer the way the Artezas write. They are much smoother, similar to, I mean, they are a vintage gel pen, is what they're, what they're called, but they are more gel-like, I guess. They are much smoother in writing, and they are slightly thicker, but it's really not a huge difference in thickness but I do think that the 0.7 is probably one of the reasons why they are smoother so if you'd like a much thinner pen the Sarasa is going to be a better fit for you but if you don't care that much or if you prefer actually a 0.7 then the Arteza might be a better fit for you but I just thought I would pop on and show you guys the things that I got from Arteza 
The sole reason that I ordered was for these and I am so super excited about them and coming up with all sorts of ways to use them with my different carts that have different purposes. So that is my little video sharing my Arteza haul, but I wanted to show you these pens because I was very excited that they had a line that was similar to the Zebra Sarasa vintage pens. They do write wonderfully. They're very, very smooth and the colors are gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed this video sharing my Arteza haul. If you have any questions about any of the items that I shared in the video, please don't hesitate to comment below. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.